Hi, Brady Snow here, Director of Content with TubeSift. Today we're back with another YouTube ad case study. This one is going to be about one of our favorite ads here at TubeSift, and this is Squatty Potty. It's about five years old. They are still pushing ads out on YouTube, however. This first ad that they did was a huge success. Uh, grabbed viewers' attentions quickly. It was very humorous. Squatty Potty got about 140 million views, and that's uh, since October 6, 2015, so they just had their birthday. They did just push out a video from the actor, who you'll see here in a second, Wes Tolman, um, saying happy birthday. But anyway, before I get further into that, let's just take a look at our video ad scripting guide, which you can get on our blog. You can just enter your email and get our scripting guide, and this just kind of helps you outline what you're gonna put in your ad, how you're gonna present your information in the best order to engage your audience. So, um, you know, all rules are meant to be broken, and um, the Squatty Potty does follow this guide per se. However, they, they switch up the order a little bit with these calls to action, but let's just go one at a time here. So that in the beginning, we have a pattern interrupt or the hook. You want to start off uh, and get your user's attention quickly. Um, a lot of times on YouTube, you only have a few seconds to do that. For the first five seconds, you want to grab their attention. They bended the rules on this a little bit. They took a little bit more time with that, but I mean, it's true that they grab your attention the first five seconds and then they just continue it before they move on to the next step here, which is qualify the viewer. But let's just watch the beginning of this ad. This is where your ice cream comes from. Oh. The creamy poop of a mystic unicorn. Totally clean, totally cool, and soft serve straight from a sphincter. Mmm, they're good at pooping. But you know who sucks at pooping? You do. That's because when you sit on a porcelain <laughs> drone, it's not... So, in those first uh, 15 seconds or so, you have this colorful setting. You have this medieval, mystical landscape. You have a mystical creature, the unicorn, uh, sitting on a toilet, which is a modern you know, appliance, a modern invention that we all use. We all maybe take it for granted because back in the medieval ages, uh, it wasn't quite as easy to go to the bathroom and relieve ourselves. But um, it's, you know, it's comical because it's a unicorn, it's a fake creature, but uh, it's pooping ice cream. And we all, you know, maybe not all of us, but we tend to love ice cream. Um, it's a special treat. So that's kind of funny, it grabs your attention quickly. The narrator uh, is dressed rather funny. He's got that. British accent, um, which we tend to all love. So let's look at the second piece here, and that is qualifying the viewer. Telling the viewer what your product or service is about and making it relevant. And you know, he does that by saying, you know who sucks at pooping? You do. And you know, that intrigues you because that's something we might take for granted. We all usually get it done. You are intrigued to want to hear more, especially after that uh, comical intro. So let's go ahead and watch how he continues by qualifying the viewer and uh, elucidating on that issue of why do you suck at pooping? This muscle gets a kink in the hose and stops the Ben and Jerry's from sliding out smoothly. Is that a problem? I don't know, are hemorrhoids a problem? Because sitting at this angle can cause hemorrhoids, bloating, constipation, and a buttload of other crap. And seriously, unicorn hemorrhoids? The glitter gets everywhere. But what happens when you go from a sit to a squat? Voila, this muscle relaxes and that kink goes away faster than Pegasus laying sweet sherbet dookie. Now your colon's open and ready for battle. So he qualified the viewer um, by discussing the problem. Why is this uh, issue relevant? And um, he kind of skips the call to action here, but it addresses the problem and explains the why. We just saw that as well. It kind of blends those two together. Uh, so that's speaking to the pain that qualified people are experiencing and why our product and service is going to help them alleviate that pain. So that's about to come up. So let's go ahead and keep watching and see how that happens. That's because our bodies were made to poop in a squat and now there's a product that lets you squat in your own home. Introducing the Squatty Potty. No, Squatty Potty is not a joke. And yes, it will give you the best poop of your life, guaranteed. Mm. I don't just mean you bloated lords and hemorrhoidal ladies. I mean everyone. Kink, unkink. Kink, unkink. It's simple science, really. Can't get the last scoop out of the carton? With the Squatty Potty, you get complete elimination. Spend too much time on the chamber pot? The Squatty Potty makes you go twice as fast for your money back. I scream, you scream, and plop, plop, baby.
Maybe you're sore from squeezing out solid globs of rocky road. Mm. The Squatty Potty mm. gives you a smooth stream of froyo that glides like a virgin swan. Plus, when you're done, it tucks neatly out of sight, thanks to its innovative patented design. Truly a footstool fit for a constipated king. So if you're a human being who poops from your butt, click here to order your Squatty Potty today at SquattyPotty.com. So uh, that had a few of the components from our scripting guide, but you can see how it addresses the issue at hand and how we build towards this intrigue of why this product would be useful. So we had the pattern interrupt in the beginning, you grab the attention with the comedy, and then we had, we qualified the viewer by talking about an issue at hand. Oh, you suck at pooping. Uh, what, what? Wait, I do? Um, interesting enough. Um, and then he goes into more detail, addresses that problem. And apparently, when you sit on the porcelain throne, uh, you get a kink. Um, we're meant to poop in a squat. That's still using humor because this is a sensitive subject we don't talk about, but it still makes a lot of us laugh in a lot of ways. Um, so he addresses the problem, explains the why, and then he introduced the solution. So this is educating. So speak to how your product or service is going to help the user achieve a goal or overcome some challenges they face. So if we suck at pooping, if you intend to poop in a squat, you're going to uh, unkink that uh, part of your bowels and uh, it comes out much more smoothly, they say. So then he gave us the call to action and that was when um, this popped up, you know, a video overlay ad. This is uh, not currently working on this video right now, but um, this is something you can click and you'd be taken to a landing page. Uh, for example, this is what their website looks like now. So um, we discussed that in some of our other trainings about how you can use these video overlay ads. You click, it's extra real estate, and it takes you to a landing page where you can learn more, shop, um, purchase the product. So um, this works in any niche, not just pooping. So um, let's go ahead and keep watching this ad. You know, we see how we had the call to action. Um, we're, he's gonna extend the call to action a few more times before the end of this ad, and you'll see that here with that pop-up. And um, he continues with the humor and more education. Um, let's go ahead and finish this ad. You wish you tried it years ago. And if you don't trust a prince, how about your doctor? Shark Tank, Huff Post, NBR, Men's Health, Howard Stern. He poops from his butt. They're all crazy about the Squatty Potty. Not to mention the 2,000 Amazon users who gave the Squatty Potty five stars, including the author of this moving haiku. <clears throat> Oh, Squatty Potty, you fill me with endless joy, yet leave me empty. So order your Squatty Potty today. I'm not saying it will make your poop as soft as this cookies and cream, but I'm not saying it won't. Squatty Potty, the stool for better stool. <sighs> Pooping will never be the same. And neither will ice cream. Huh. That one for you, very good. How does it taste? Is that delicious? Mm -hmm. Is that the best thing you've ever had in your life? Mm -hmm. There you are. So, you can see there, um, they continued to educate, um, they continued to use the humor, they extended that call to action again at the end, and then um, they showed the children eating ice cream, which in fact was the unicorn's poop. Um, more humor. Um, you can see that they took a big risk with this ad. Um, generally not the most uh, comfortable subject, pooping, but they found a way to make it humorous uh, for people of all ages. And um, so that is just a great example of using humor, getting your user's attention quickly in the beginning with that pattern interrupt, and then also extending that call to action after you've educated your users. You can do this in several orders. You can um, extend the call to action after you describe, after you qualify the viewer. Um, and then you go into more detail, address the problem, explain the why. You can extend the call to action again. Um, it, you know, it's not one tried or true method. Um, but the lesson here is that you, you can feel free to take risks uh, with your ads. It just shows how much influence a video has over human behavior. So I hope there were some key takeaways that you were able to get out of this video. Uh, if you did like this, please click a subscribe button on YouTube and follow us on social media. If you'd like our scripting guide, you can download it here on the website, uh, here at blog.tubesafe.com. 
and yeah, check back again for uh, more case studies of, of YouTube ads. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.